New villages all over Sri Lanka, built with money donated from throughout the world. International relief organizations designed and financed thousands of new houses for homeless coastal dwellers. The aid workers had ambitious goals. They wanted reconstruction to simultaneously improve living conditions. It was hoped that in the new settlements, people would be able to live more securely and enjoy better lives. This was the promise made after the tsunami of 2004. <laughs> The international donors, they came for a shorter period of time. They came, they construct the houses and they lift the place. <laughs> The Sri Lankan government does not want the former coastal dwellers to return to the shore. After the tsunami, it resettled 70,000 people away from the coastal regions. Fisherman Surentiran lives in the wrong place for his occupation. A long way from the sea, he has no idea when the shoals of fish are surfacing. It has therefore become difficult for him and his colleagues in Teraimadu to feed their families. The fishermen were resettled away from the coast with the help of charitable donations. However, the buffer zone and what has come of it has hardly been questioned by most of the relief organizations. Buffer zone bringt Sicherheit für die Leute. Das hat man anderen allein drauf. Es ist an und sich gut, aber man kann halt nicht nur Gesetz erlauben, muss, man muss es auch einhalten. Und vor allem, wenn für den Tourismus nicht das Gleiche gilt wie für die Fischerleute, dann ist es komisch. This doesn't worry the promoters of tourism. They are investing in the buffer zone in large tsunami proof complexes. And this is merely the beginning. Available now on iTunes.